All right, good day again. Welcome back to another another vlog. <coughs> Joking, or nothing. Um, it is 1.37 in the afternoon. We're gonna start pulling the gear at two. We're gonna pull the Morris, which is our deep sea anchor last. But I'm gonna cook dinner now. So when we're steaming tonight, thinking that we're actually gonna catch the amount of fish we need, we've got food ready to go. So pan's going, I'm just gonna show you what I cook on a boat. This is what you, you cook while we're at it. We are rocking and rolling, as you can see, out here. But I'm gonna cook the mince off, do some sauces, add some peas, corns, and whatever. Make a bit of a, I don't know. I wanted to make like a shepherd's pie or something, but I'll see. What's well, a cottage pie, but anyway, we'll have a look. All right, normally I would do the garlic and the chili and the sauces and the onions and stuff. I would like saute it first, but I've, I've only got 15 minutes to cook it. So I've just added some chili, um, lots of chili, because Lockie loves chili, some garlic. I'm just gonna cook that off. I'm gonna grab some uh, onion, and stuff in a second. I'll quickly cut that up and add some seasonings and things like that. I'll work it out. So all I've done is add garlic and chili. Gonna brown the beef off. I'm just gonna cut this onion. I am at sea. Fortunately, it's not moving too much. Uh, so I will dice that real quick and then add that. Gonna add onion to that. Give this a little stir. Knife's gone flying, the knife's landed in the bin. The knife was there and now it's there. So I could have lost a toe, so knife goes down there. Definitely rocking and rolling. Alright, give this a little stir. Get some seasoning in a minute. Added a little bit of uh, use me on everything. Where's the list of stuff in it? You can pause it there if you want to see what's in it. Garlic, onion, paprika, cumin, coriander, black pepper, pink, Himalayan salt, thyme, parsley, basil, chili. So that's been added to that, lots of it. All right, so that's browning off. Um, so tonight, all I have to do is make some potatoes, uh, peel some potatoes, boil some spuds, make some mash. I'll probably do some potatoes and sweet potato. I'm gonna put all of this mince when it's got everything in it I want, with a sauce into this pot, and then put a layer of the mash spud or sweet potato on it, some cheese, stick it in the oven, and we will have ourselves a nice pie for dinner, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do some engine room checks. I'll just take you along and do, do some things. Looks like there's a storm coming. It's a bit, um, it's a bit shit looking out there, I don't know about that. It's uh, meant to rain, there's going to be lightning and thunder and all sorts, but I've only just found out about that. Um, but anyway, here's what it is. We'll keep cooking this. Lockie is sleeping. He should be getting up soon. I'll open that window a bit. There we go. And yeah, sweet. I've added a bit of color, a bit of frozen color. I know it's not real pretty, but it will look pretty when it's in my mouth, I think. Maybe it just won't be pretty ever, but there's about a kilo of mince here, a cup and a half, two cups of peas, carrots, and corn, and some seasoning, some spices, onion, a full onion, and then we'll have once, oh, probably half or three quarters of a sweet potato, or might just do a full sweet potato. Uh, probably three normal potatoes, Dutch cream potatoes, is what will go there. Yep, and now I'm just making up a gravy to add into it and mix in and add some other other things and that should be nearly ready oh look out you look out so we've now added the gravy we've added a bit of beef stock cooking with bryce we're just showing what you cook on a boat because it's our it could be our last trip for a while so and we get asked all the time what do you guys even cook out there mcdonald's you get pizza or delivery yeah uber flown uber boat so, added that, I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. I'll just turn that down a bit, we'll be on six. 
so a little bit more beef stock. I won't taste it just yet. I'm going to stick my finger in there. Won't taste it just yet. Yep. A bit of salt and pepper. Should be good. Rubbish man has come and gone. Don't forget you get yourself one of them uh, deckhands keeping the industry afloat. He definitely is a local garbage man, you know. Deckhands are handy for that. You'll see him here in a second. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Who's that good garbage boy? All right, that's nearly done. I'm not gonna lie though, just taste tested it. I probably should have put one teaspoon of chili, uh, mixed chili concoction in. Instead I put two very big large uh, heaps and a bit. Plus a bit extra cayenne pepper on top of it all for seasoning and uh, it was quite warm, so. That's in there now, there's a lot more than I thought, so I'll probably have to take a bit out when I make the pie, the pie part. All I'm gonna do now is pull this thing down. So it's gonna keep it dead still there. I'm gonna tighten that off. Oop, other way, no it is that way. That way, and tighten that off. Not really done much. Done much wrong, maybe we'll go this side. That's there. So that'll stay there a good half an hour till we pull the first couple of pots. Lockie's getting dressed, ready to go. I'm going to the engine room right now and going to do my checks. So all I do when I go to the engine room is, one, I'll clean you, that's better, is uh, check my oils, just check the bilge, check fuel, check leaks, check everything under the sun, and then we're good to go. I'll do that two, three times a day. If we're steaming somewhere, I'll check every hour on the hour, sort of thing. I'll go in the engine room, have a sticky beak, um, and just make sure everything's all good. Uh, and before we take off, I check to make sure the fridge latches are on there, Nothing's gonna rock and roll, nothing's gonna make noises, all that sort of stuff. Just a heap of checks. It's just, you don't wanna be driving along, next minute bang, crash, your fucking fridge doors, you know, all out on the floor, and it happened once and once only, so. Meanwhile, he's just getting ready. We are basically going to, what are we doing? We're going to chop up enough bait for half the gear only, in case we have a major fail today and we don't catch anything, because we need 100, and 80, I will re-correct myself in a few minutes. 100 and something, 180, something like that. Craze, 188 craze, lobsters, to get half a ton in two days. This is our final shot. We don't have another one after this. If we have to, we can have like a tiny, tiny, tiny one tonight, but we really don't want to because there's a storm coming. I haven't made my bed. We just want to get like, we just want to get going. So um, yeah, we're going to pull the first half of the gear if it's really shit we're gonna be up shit creek and we're gonna be bloody fingers crossed for the second half. So Lockie's just preparing in case we have to shoot some back tonight inshore somewhere. But anyway, let's get the show on the road. Crispy. First pot of the day. Our only issue is this is a westerly and this is an easterly and it's meeting in the middle and and I'll just get these up. Once Lockie's hands are free. Right. Yeah, this is a westerly front. You can see the front just here. We're on the, you know, it's above us. And then there's an easterly one as well. And we're sort of in the middle. So the wind's coming from this way, but then there's a, a, a weird wind coming from over here. And then it's pissing down with rain over this side of the rock and we're about to get well i don't know we're in the middle of it so it's going to be interesting to see what happens when you get the easterly and westerly and we're in the middle he's prepared his blue smurf is ready to go for whatever happened oh there's a big raindrop too that's why I, yeah, that's why i was like i just kind of put it off there you are you're in charge of mr gopro
shoot little lumps like this this time so this pot is on a lump like that and we'll see what's in it
off of the truck. Not too bad. Not too bad, that's basically three bits of lobos, so that might want to get close to 100 for the first half, and then we just need 50 to 88 off the second half. Jacket, and he's getting. Very 
very hot. So it's awkward, but it's pissing down in rain. It's just a pain in the ass. Or the rain will stop and it'll start drizzling. It's just that shitty, shitty weather. So um, yeah, basically we'll pull this next half. Well, I think I'm pretty confident. 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 I uh, don't know about that, but I'm confident enough that I think we might hit our number or close enough. Then we've got to pull the Morris and steam. I've just gone down and sorted dinner out. So all I've got left now is the potatoes. And yeah, dinner will be ready as we're steaming. So he'll be happy, he gets to come into a nice warm meal. And yeah, sweet as, we'll see you for the next lot. This one, please. We just want these two bins full, like chockers, and we'll know we'll be, we know we're, we're good then. The hundred off that first half sort of has given us a bit of confidence, it's given me some confidence at least. And there was still a bunch of crappy pots in that lot too, so we can get a hundred out of them with a bunch of crappy pots. I reckon we can get 70 or 80 out of this half. Got one extra pot in this half as well. Cigar, and you just fell out 
Lord. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? Saws.
service lines. Sweet oh. Where did you get that? Start in the middle, eh? that's in the bin though is one closer to reaching the target. be stacked perfectly and they'll stack perfectly then I'll come and stack them perfectly kick you out of the way all right him there's a big dog there's a big one there's a big boy big puppy big a bit too much to be 34 40 in there I guess. excited if we are uh, we reach the bloody hell if we reach the target straight inside playing call of duty and to celebrate just to celebrate Another jellyfish tentacle again today. My arch nemesis at the moment. Then watch the last episode. I bloody got. I got I just face pounded by an octo. Um, what's it called? A bloody jellyfish. 
all across my face and in my eyeballs. It was not nice, it was very painful. But I'm alright now. I've had plenty of stings on my face before, that's no worries. Doesn't really matter, just, just tickles a bit. I don't went in my eyeballs though. That was uh, very, very painful. It was a, how do I describe it? It was a, it was a burning sensation. Oh, my eyeballs were just burning off. It's a bloody salt water and jellyfish tentacles. Not nice. Oh, those things. Second row. Fills up, I'll be very happy because that means we've easily got 70 80 craze, just the two bins full, and then the rest is spilling around the sides. Usually means we've got 80 90. again. I am supposed to be washing these in water but we've already we've got another bin up here we paid in it because we didn't know if we'd be shooting any back or not. We still don't know but judging by how things are going I think we'll be fine. But I'll give those bait savers a wash out once we finish working. Bit of bit of soap in there. Bit of high pressure hose action. That'd be sweet. Big draft board. Ah. See ya. Watch him swim away. Up he goes.
just one big game, filling the gaps. Not literally. There's room in the bait saver, fill it up with bait. If there's somewhere to stack a pot, there's room, stack it there. With the lines, you are filling the gaps to make all the rope fit. Same with the floats. You can't just throw stuff in there willy nearly. I like to think of everything as a big game of filling the gaps. Heavy, very heavy. Oh, start in the middle again. Unfortunately, just can't fit a whole fleet of them on the deck. The way we've got the tank hatches and stuff set up, um, we just can't physically fit them all. That's why we've got the steel pots, and coincidentally, they fit perfectly. I don't think they were made to fit. They could have been, but I don't think so. Um,
face makes me think he thinks we're going to be throwing fish back. Which we could well be. Oh, we've still got, still got a fair few pots left. He's got a smile on his face, he's happy. Oh. Um, I might see if he wants to put him down, so actually no, I mean, here we got. Get this pot up first. Small out of this lot. Alright, then just pull like 20 out of two pots. Oh, they're starting to spill out. That means we're getting close. Get them down in the water. Get this pot up. Put them down. Figure out where we're at, how many more we need. And we could possibly be throwing a lot back. Can't go over our quota. Oh, what's happened to the skewer? Is it gone? Not still there. Half full one out. Take a quick wash for Princess. Uh, we don't like dirty stuff in the wheelhouse. And he's walking in and out. Oh, okay, he wants dirty stuff in the wheelhouse.
This is it, and we're done. pull the deep sea anchor, something you've got to be very careful doing, we're going to pull it from the uh, back end, or the head, end, the head end of the anchor, if that makes sense. Um, so this end you can see just here on screen, just where Lockie's head is, is the main line and we want the other end, which is the red end. It's awfully close to each other, it's not what we want. So Lockie is going to talk to the GoPro, I'm not going to talk to this camera, I need to focus. Bigger, so
She's done and dusted. Morris is uh, on deck. We're done. We're going to steam home. It'll take uh, about six hours. It's about six hours to get home. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed the last few days uh, of lobster fishing in Tasmania. Hopefully, it's something different, and um, yeah. Hopefully it answers a lot of your questions, or you wonder why lobster is so expensive. Yes, we might have gone and got half a ton in two days, and you'd be like, oh my god, they got 700 fish or whatever. But it's like, re remember, between $25 and $30 a kilo of that goes straight to quota. You got bait at four, just over $4 a kilo. You got fuel. You know, it's you got expenses such as pots. All the, the boat itself, insurance, you've got all this stuff that people just seem to forget about when it comes to running a business. It's not just about the, uh, you know, we're getting $65 a kilo off the wharf selling to the public. You're ripping people off, you're ripping people off. We're not. We, we, are, we are breaking even on doing that. So this two days we've had at sea, you know, there was expenses prior. We've got an electrician coming down because things aren't working. We've got all this other stuff happening. That's all going to cost money. This trip's probably going to go backwards, but we fed the, the public as best we could for Christmas, and that's all that matters. So, anyway, that's my little rant, my day's rant. So, I'm going to go finish dinner off. We might show one or two more things and do a bit of an end outro thing, and then I guess the sails off the wharf will be a, a, um, a video, I think. So, yeah, might be saying to lose. Dinner update, I don't know if you can hear me or not. We've uh, made the mashed potato, put the two different, three different cheeses on top. This is gonna go in the oven, melt all that, make it crispy on top, and I'll show you the end result. I stuck a hole in it, hold up. There we go, dinner's ready. I'll grab a spoon. Spoon, that's a spoon. And a bowl, I had one here. Sit that there. Let's have a look here. Some more meat. There we go. A bit more spud. Dinner is served. Smoking. That's it. Done and dusted. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's getting dark out here. Lucky's up there having a ciggy. This is you know who. Lovely. Alright, peace out. We'll see you soon.